What's going on gearheads? Welcome back to Saltwater Gear Reviews. For those of you who are new to the channel, we do everything saltwater gear reviewing them. All right, we're gonna review rods, reels, lures, line, you think it, we'll review it. And today we are gonna be reviewing the Makaira, Okuma Makaira 15T I-I-S-E-A, technically. We call it the old Makaira 15T or the Mac 15T. It does come in our blue camo special edition here. And I have it on a pretty base rod. It's the Star Rods. It's a five foot nine, 50 to 200. Um, we use this reel and combo for a plethora of different targets. We'll go over that in a little bit and what this reel is capable of, which is a lot, hint, hint. Um, but to start off, I'm gonna set this guy here and I'm gonna go over kind of the spec specifications on this reel and um, kind of let you guys know what we're working with as far as it coming straight out of the factory. So this is off Okuma's website. Um, it has a high and low speed, so it is a two-speed reel, which is very, very, very nice. High speed, 4.7 to one, low speed, 2.1 to one. Um, as far as the line capacity goes, which we found to be pretty true, I've got 65 pound tight line braid on this thing. Um, it holds 575 yards of 0 0.042 millimeters, 425 yards of 0 0.048 millimeters, 325 yards of 0 0.055 millimeters. Now, if you guys go look up the size of braid that those millimeters equal to, it is claiming that this little bitty reel right here holds some exceptional braid, 100 pound, 130 pound, 150 pound. Um, but I will say 65 pound braid, which is about 0.42 millimeters or 0 0.042 millimeters. Um, 575 yards, 65 pound braid, pretty, pretty darn close. I think it's a little lofty and about 50 yards over. I've got about 500 yards of line of 65 on this reel right here. So um, I think 575 seems to be a little bit lofty, but hey, 500 yards, 65 pound braid, this thing can do a lot right here um, as far as the inches high speed low speed goes one crank of this handle 38.9 inches in high speed 17.1 inches in low speed do with that information as you will it puts out 32 pounds at strike while still having free spool when you max out your preset and it does 40 pounds at full drag going past the strike setting when you max out your preset at full. So 32 at strike, 40 pounds at full. Obviously, when it comes out of the box, it's not ready to go like that. You have to adjust your preset. Um, we set our strike on this reel here at 17 pounds at strike and it gets like 25 or 26 at full. Um, a really nice thing about any of the Makaira reels, we use them from the 15 T size all the way up to the 130s for shark fishing. Um, is their drag ramp from strike to full is exceptional. On the shark reels, we'll put like 44 pounds at strike and get 75 pounds at full, which is amazing. Um, and so, you know, you do have the capacity on this reel to go ahead and push it to full if you need to, but for what we use this for, um, 17 pounds at strike is perfect. You're not stressing the reel out. We've talked that, about that before on the channel. If you're using the reel, if you need 32 pounds at strike, maybe you should go with a bigger reel because you don't wanna be maxing out your reels all the time because that's just kind of pushing the limitations of what this reel is like able to hold without breaking. Um, so you could like, you know, suffer longevity wise for the reel. So it's nice that it does 32 pounds at strike because when we use 17, it's not stressing the reel out. Um, the reel comes in at 29 ounces by itself with no line. And then it comes in a retail price of $580 which I think is very, very fair. Um, the, the craftsmanship, the feel of this reel, how smooth it is, the line capacity, um, the drag rating that it gets, it's, it's just a, a Cadillac of, of conventional reels. The West Coast guys um, use these things for bluefin tuna like nobody's business, man. These things are bluefin killers. Over here, um, you know, we use this thing offshore, obviously. I mean, you can hear. This mic is sensitive. Like nothing. They're so quiet. I love Max. I do love Makaira Slayer Rose. Um, basically, what we use this setup for, you can see this, this rod stands at five foot nine. Um, it's a one 
perfect size chunking reel um, for big yellowfin tuna. A lot of guys are gonna think, what the heck, you know, this little thing right here? Yes, 200 pound tuna, not worried about it. Um, it's got 500 yards of 65 pound braid, short top shot of 60 pound mono, and then we do 40, 60, or 80 pound floral leader, depending on how finicky the fish are being or aren't being. Um, it's really nice to use a combo like this. You can set it in the gunnel, you've got it in the gunnel, it's really easy to strip, it's really easy to pick up, it's really easy to fight fish, maneuver around the boat, it's got the capacity, it's obviously has the drag specs, and the internals match. So this thing is a just a high-end reel that can handle those big class of fish. So live baiting for yellowfin, um, chunking for yellowfin, check, got this thing down. Um, if we're trolling, it definitely goes in the trolling spread somewhere. Normally it goes on a small skirt or a cedar plug of sorts where blackfin, mahi, maybe small wahoo hit it. Uh, but anything that, you know, a big marlin might pick up, any type of skirt that has any side of size to it that, you know, a giant marlin might pick up, this is gonna be, that's gonna be outside of its class here. Um, and then obviously if you step into any sort of trolling, um, we don't do a ton, but uh, you know, any sort of, uh, you know, Kingfish trolling, um, it would handle it. If you're doing any type of live baiting for amberjack, snapper, I think this would be an awesome snapper combo for you guys that like to go out into the 150, 200 foot range, target those, you know, 25, 35 pound snapper that are giants, or you wanna go into the AJ that are 40, 50, 60, 80, 100 pounds, but you don't wanna put an 80 wide in a gunnel and drag a fish out, you wanna fight them a little bit more sporty. This thing can put out 40 pounds of max strike, which is more than you probably can hold. You can slap it full of a 100 pound braid and a short top shot of you know 80 or 100 pound mono and absolutely just rip AJ out of the wreck. Um, obviously you're gonna get better drag specs. You're gonna get higher drag ratings if you use it lower in the spool. You know, the lower you go in the spool, the more the drag increases. So um, you could always put this reel on a little bean stick and have something that's easy to fight big AJs and you're not like dealing with this bulky like reel. You've got this thing right here that you're just ripping AJs out with. Um, we vertical jigged this thing before, so if uh, you were feeling a little squirrely and wanted to jig with it, have a big jigging setup. Um, I know the guys on the West Coast, as far as that goes, we're, we're in the Gulf of Mexico, Panhandle area, Pensacola, Florida area. So um, we have a different application. But if you're watching this video, you're all on the West Coast. I know a lot of these guys using combos like this. This isn't really a rail rod. Your four your four grips a little bit short. Maybe you're, you know, you need another rod for this thing. But the guys will use a lot of, um, you know, flutterfall jigs for bluefin tuna and yellowfin tuna over on the West Coast with this setup, like these type of setups here. So you're getting big long sweeps and uh, the Makaira 15T will definitely do it. Um, things we've caught on this reel, caught a ton of, a, a good amount of yellowfin tuna, a ton of amberjack, we've caught a few snapper on it, we've trolled with it quite a bit. Um, and this reel, I think we've even taken it off the beach, just kind of being goofy. Um, we have taken it, you know, do sandbar shark, stuff like that, small stuff off the beach. Um, I'll probably, I got some family coming in soon, and uh, I'll probably be, this This guy might, this combo right here is perfect for like little kids when we're targeting like super small sharks, but I want to get them in the harness. So we've got sandbars that come in our area, like five, six foot range, and I can, you know, pretty much at a certain place, you know, you can you can make sure that the kids get in. I might put the kids in the harness with this thing because it's super manageable. It's a narrow size reel with that T size, and um, you know, the kids might be able to beat it up. But I mean, as far as as far as our main applications for this reel, and probably why I'm going to keep it for a really long time, um, is because it is just such an easy throw on the boat rod that doesn't take up much room. Super easy to use high class setup that can catch some giant yellowfin tuna um, and it can do like wahoo and AJ and live baiting and all that stuff out at the blue waters if you need it to. And um, it, like I said, it just doesn't take up much space. Anybody on the boat can use it. The narrow size of the spool with it being topless is super nice. So if you have somebody maybe is not as, doesn't have as much experience, they can still line lay really easy. They're not gonna mess it up. They're not gonna high stack on one side or at least it's gonna be a little bit harder to. And uh, this thing packs a punch, man. And at $580, um, as far as I'm concerned, if you want high-end gear, that's a that's a no-brainer type of price for me. Um, if I was going to order it from somewhere, I'd order it from Sharkbait. If you call those guys, see if they have the 15 Ts in. They'll probably have a multitude of colors. They probably will not have the blue camo here, but um, you know that's just kind of part of it a little bit. But call those guys over at Sharkbait. They'll get you a good deal on them, and uh, sometimes they like to throw some braid on top, so you might have a have a combo or setup. 
Um, as far as the rod goes, just match your application. If you guys are, again, West Coast surface iron fishing, you're gonna want a rod longer in the seven foot, six to eight foot range and a rail rod style that you can throw those surface irons on. As far as this reel does throwing wise, it's excellent. Um, if we're vertical jigging, I knock it all the way down to free spool and I really, you know, for some reason we're drifting really fast. I need to whip this thing out there. This reel casts like a dream. Um, if I were to put this on a 12 foot rod, I need to cast out like a shark leader, which is the majority of casting we'll do here. Or if you're in Texas, where you're doing a lot of drum fishing off the pier, where you might catch some sharks too, you put this thing on a 10, 11 foot rod, put it on one of those, um, you know, Harrington 555s, whatever, and just absolutely sling this thing out there. It's gonna cast like a dream. It does cast very, very nice. The only thing I don't um, like compared to the other Makaira reels is when you get up to your 20 size, you have your clickers over here like normal. This one has the clicker on the side. And sometimes it's not too bad, but sometimes it's a little bit of a pain when you're like panicking. You get your clicker on when you're putting bait back, it gets slammed and uh, it's getting ripped and you can't like, you're fumbling around with it instead of just the lever. That's really easy to flip back and forth. So um, that's gonna be pretty much it. I mean, I, I've, I've gotta say like, as far as the Makaira SEA like size reels goes, it's super, super nice. Um, we've had all the way up, like I said, to the 130 size, but we've owned the 20s. Um, the 20s are super nice. I caught my first white marlin on that thing. Um, and we've caught a bunch of tuna on that size is real as well. We'll probably end up eventually getting another size 20. So if I were to say, you know, you're gonna fill your boat out for live baiting or chunking, get a couple 15 tees for chunking, Get a couple 20 size reels, Makaira 20 SEAs, make sure the SEA models, they have all the good new internals, they're Okuma, Akuma's new product, um, and get those for live baiting for your bigger fish too. And then you're, if you got a 30 or a 50 size for like marlin stuff, I mean, dude, you'd be absolutely set with an absolute dream set of reels. I'd say the next reel I put my hand on that's close to this smoothness is the Alu Technos straight out of Italy. So, you know, for the price point, if you go look at a, a Lou Technos around the same size, and then you look at your Makairas, now that 580 doesn't seem quite as bad, does it? So, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a Cadillac of sorts, man. And it's very, very nice. One that I probably will not get rid of this combo right here. And it's fairly ineffective at coming in, you know, well under $700 probably. So that's gonna be it for the Makaira 15T. Um, we will do, be doing videos every single week. And so there'll be a new upload every single Monday. If you guys have something you wanna see us do a saltwater gear review on, we're gonna have a fantastic opportunity coming up very soon with Bama Beach Bum Outdoors to get in their shop, have a different podcast booth, and have access to a plethora of gear, a bunch of different stuff. So if you guys have something that's coming up into summertime, you need us to review it, you wanna know before you buy it, and you want us to put our hands on it, go over the spec sheet and give you us, give you our opinion on it, just let us know because we can definitely do that very soon. So I'm gonna leave you guys with it. Thanks so much. Makaira 15T, definitely recommend. You.